you know, because the nature of science is to test explanations of the natural world. And the way we test explanations about the natural world is we hold constant certain variables. So, you know, I've got these two plots of corn, and I want to know whether the fertilizer really does re reduce in a bigger, uh, result in a bigger crop. Okay, so I, in order to convince you that that fertilizer really was responsible for growing more corn on this plot, I have to persuade you that I watered these two plots exactly the same. I gave them the same amount of sunlight. I cultivated both of them the same amount, kept the weeds out, kept the pests down and everything. And that the only difference between these two plots is that this one got fertilizer. Otherwise, you'd come back to me and you'd say, come on, Janie. <laughs> you can't tell me that the fertilizer, Scott fertilizer, I'm sure, I wish I had stock in the company. You can't tell me that this fertilizer is the reason for it, because you didn't, you didn't water the, this other plot. You know, you didn't control for water. You didn't hold constant the amount of water. That's what we mean by holding constant. And we all kind of know this. I mean, you know, we, we, know, we, we learned this in seventh grade about, about the experimental method. Well, put God into this equation. You know, God don't make the, you know, don't make the corn grow greater if I fertilize it. How do you constrain God? How do you hold constant God's efforts? You can't. So science doesn't say there's no God. Science doesn't say God doesn't act. Science just says we can't test God, so we just leave him out. Uh, a good friend of mine, um, a philosopher of science, Rob Pinnock, came up with a great phrase. He said, to say nothing of God is not to say that God is nothing. We just leave God out of scientific explanations. So getting back to good old uh, McLean versus Arkansas, um, when, uh, when the definition of science was being debated, the, the notion of being able to bring God into a scientific explanation was something that the mainstream scientists strictly uh, refused to accept as part of the definition. They restricted scientific explanations to natural explanations only. And that is still the key element for how science is done, at least as recognized by practicing scientists.